Hi, I'm Lou and today I want to show you how to build your own fountain. Here are the major parts we'll need. A five gallon bucket, a large pot that is slightly taller than the five gallon bucket. These are by the way about 13 inches tall when you're going to buy a pot. A large piece of sheet metal that you can get at the hardware store. A water pump that you can get at a garden supply store or hardware store. Some tubing that fits right on there and some rocks and some river rock and some black rust-oleum paint. For tools we'll need metal cutting shears like either one of these and a drill with an eighth inch drill bit. Start by measuring the diameter of your pot. Now measure out half the diameter of your pot in this direction and half the diameter of your pot in this direction and that will be the center of a circle. Take a piece of rope or wire that's half the diameter of your pot again and put it right in that center and draw a circle all the way around your sheet metal. Now cut that out with your shears. Next cut a line straight out from the center like this. This next part will be a little bit tricky but you need to cut a hole in the center that's maybe one or one and a half inches in diameter. Now take your metal circle and squeeze it together on that line over here so that it is maybe two inches high all the way around. It's, you're making a shallow funnel essentially. And then either have someone hold it or put a clamp to hold that in position. Ideally if you have some self-tapping sheet metal screws that you can get the same place you bought your sheet metal pull it together like that. If you don't have those sheet metal screws you can simply drill through with a drill bit in a few places and weave a piece of wire through and bend it on the back side to hold everything together. Paint the inside of your funnel black with Rust-Oleum spray paint. If you don't want to make your own funnel, look up Kids Saucer Sled on the internet and you can find something very similar. When it's all dry, your funnel should look like this and it should fit basically right on top of the bucket inside and look like that. So I've got my little piece of rubber tubing. I'll stick that on the pump and then I've got a long piece of plastic tubing. I'll stick that into the rubber tubing and then I'll dump this whole thing down into my bucket. Then I'll put my funnel over that. The easiest thing to do with the power cord is just to drape it over the side of the pot. It's black and you can put it in back and it probably won't show that much. If you're really intent on hiding the power cord, then you're going to have to make that hole a little bit bigger in the bottom. And you can do that with a screwdriver and a hammer. So I'm going to stay really close to the edge and slowly chip out little pieces to make the hole bigger. Now I'm going to cut my pipe off about three inches from the top of the funnel. Put one fairly fat river rock right there so the littler ones don't fall in. And pour in the rest of your rocks. Now lay your big rocks around the outside of the pot. Thank you for watching and good luck building your fountain.